guys, it's me Blue here, and today I'm going to be doing an LPS flea market haul. I got these LPS at a very big flea market in Rogers, Ohio, so if you're in the area, you might want to check it out if you're still searching for some old LPS. Anyway, with that out of the way, I'm going to get started with the reviewing and stuff. The first two LPS I'm going to be reviewing is this fuzzy penguin and this little kitten. The kitten is in really nice condition. Um, the nose isn't chipped or anything. It's got a little white mark there though. Might be like a paint thing. Um, what am I talking about? I don't know. It's got um little scuff. But you know what? This is a flea market haul. This cat is in really good condition. Besides maybe some dirt and that will come off really easily. So, yeah, here's the kitten. The next LPS is this penguin, which is in a, <laughs> a little less good shape. It's got a bunch of fuzz in there, some fuzz missing. There seems to be no paint chipping on the eyes, though, so I guess that's something. Um, there's... Wait. <laughs> there's... This... But as I said... These came from a flea market, so I'm just happy to have them at all. And I actually plan to give this one to my cousin, who, if you don't know, did a few videos with me ages ago. The FNAF something or another. Anyway, so yeah, here's this penguin. The next LPSs I got from the same vendor, who actually packaged them really nicely, so I guess that's cool. So, uh, these LPS were um, a lot more expensive because of the packaging and accessories or whatnot. So, um, yeah. This LPS came with a mirror, um, some tuna, and a paw print. I'm not entirely sure what this is from or what I'm going to use it for, but yeah, guess that's here. So, here's the first cat. Um, she's in, like, really good condition. Um, she's got some marks here and there, but, like, there's no, like, terrible, like, chips or stains or anything. Her head bobbles and moves, although it's a bit stiff. Like, you know those LPS that, like, they only bobble in one direction, but if you twist their head in the other, like, they just stop working? Um, this cat's one of those pets, but honestly, I don't really think that'll be too much of an issue. And the next one. This LPS actually only came with, um, like, these little food packets in, like, a box, which I think would look, work, like, really cute in, like, a store or something, so, yeah. The cat itself is in a bit more rougher condition than the other cat, I think. I mean, there's some paint outside the hair, you know, scuffs, marks, but, like, not in anything, like, super bad, you know? Like, the head bobbles better than the other cat. And actually, the funny thing is, I remember as soon as I saw this cat, I was like, wait a second, is that the cat from the Unknown Flame? <gasps> oh my gosh! So, yeah. And me and my friend always, like, make, like, edgy cat families, so this will be perfect for, like, a dad or something. So, yeah. Second cat. And the last pet, which isn't a cat, surprisingly. The last pet is this cute little corgi, and, um... They actually came with a few more accessories, but when I went to open the bag, they all kind of just exploded everywhere. So I don't know where those went. So I guess I'll have to find them. But um, I did manage to find this bow. So I guess that's something. And the corgi also came with the mirror, which is in the back where you can see my hand move around and stuff. So yeah, here's the corgi. The corgi um, is in fairly good condition, a bit dirty. Um, I just noticed that the corgi has this, like, marker stain of some sort on their head. I don't know. I might see if I can get that off with, like, nail polish remover. Maybe just soap and water, because I don't know what it's from. Um, it's got a red magnet. I know I didn't say that for the other pets, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's all Gucci in this house. So, um, yeah, this cute little corgi. Um, yeah. Don't know how, don't have much to say. And just because, why not, I figured I'd also review these bonus pets that I got from an entirely different flea market. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. 
The person who sold me these pets also included a little seesaw thing, but I can't find that now, so I guess I'm going to have to do without for the review. The first pet from this um, grouping, I don't know, is a husky. And I actually already have this husky, but I figured it'd be cool to get a duplicate for like customs and stuff. Or maybe I'll use my husky because this hus <laughs> husky is in way better condition. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this husky actually came from like, you know, those Blythe dolls. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of the dolls. But yeah, I do remember getting a couple of them. So yeah, probably have them somewhere. Anyway, um, the husky does not have a magnet because it's a G2 doggo and deal with it. So, um, pretty good condition. Nothing major wrong with it. It has that weird head thing that the cat had, but it's fine. The next pet is this cute little bunny, which is giving me, like, cupcake vibes, and I love it. Um, she's got, like, she's yellow with, like, brown, like a milky chocolate brown. I'm not sure what kind of brown. I don't know. But she has pink up above her eyes and pink eyes and a cute little brown tail and a bunch of dirt, which will be washed off eventually. She's got something going on with her ear right there. I'm not entirely sure what, but, yeah. But, yeah, pretty good condition. Um, head's a bit stiff, kind of like the husky and the Persian cat, but whatever. Next is this chihuahua with um, purple eyeshadow. I actually have, like, a boxer, I think that's the right dog that I'm talking about with like pink eyeshadow and honestly I don't like LPS with makeup it's just they're animals why are they wearing makeup except maybe eyeliner because you know I'm edgy here anyway she has like a Doberman pattern with like brown on her in some places and whatever shape you call that like maybe like you know what that's reminding me of like you know those cursors like on your computer that's like an arrow mouse shape yeah that it's like a cursor computer. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, Chihuahua. And the last pet you've all been waiting for, the purse. Just kidding, I'm talking about the dog, not the purse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this cute little puppy um, came from the pet triplets back when those were a thing. Has sticker eyes. Honestly, I c could care less about sticker eye pets. I don't know, they just look a little weird. It's like 2D, 2D versus follow me eyes on first. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's got some marks on it. Some dirt. It's got a tail. You know, nose isn't chipped. You know, I'm actually surprised because, you know, noses are like the easiest part on a pet to get chipped besides maybe their feet. And like barely any, I don't think any of these pets had chipped noses. So, um, yeah doggo that's it for this review guys thank you for watching i'll see you next time if i ever do decide to upload again so yeah bye